Hey, everybody. Do you like the Star Wars? Because we got the Star Wars coming at you for your TRS-80 color computer. First up, we got Star Wars by Mike Moore. Let's pick a rank. We're a fairy pilot because, eh, easiest. Right. So the point of this game is to get the TIE fighter in the center so you can shoot it. And it's not as easy as it looks. Uh, get in there, get in. The problem is the controls are reversed on this one. Up is down, left is right, and just like a real X-Wing, I guess. Uh -huh. And we got it! Yay, the world is saved, and the universe, and the Death Star, and... Come on, okay, I'm bored. Next up is Advanced Star Trench Warfare by Fred Scarbo, who is quite prolific on the TRS-80. This one's written in BASIC, which is pretty impressive for the time. As you can see here, the whole game is the trench run, and there's the TIE Fighter, because that's what we do in these games. We shoot the TIE Fighters, and TIE Fighters, they go down when we hit them. And there's the Darth Vader of the TIE Fighter, and it's souping around, and we're trying to hit it, because the controls are absolutely great on this, because it's basically... You know, the trench effects are really simple, but they really look 3D. So the TRS-80 could actually do 3D. As you can see in this Battlezone ripoff called Rommel 3D. The system actually had a good bit of power in it for the time. You see it could do vector polygons, and so a proper trench warfare game couldn't have been that hard for it to do. So that's Advanced Star Trench Warfare, because, you know, we didn't have much in the early 80s. <laughs> Get over here. Get over here in my sights. So I'm using the mouse as a controller, which is what's causing me to miss a lot. You can also use the keyboard in this emulator, but I find that it's not as precise. Like an Imperial Stormtrooper. Last up, if you've seen my old video before it got taken down by the DMCA, is Return of the Jedi. Because, yeah. Anyway, Return of the Jedi is quite a technological marvel for the TRS-80. So we're on our land speeder, we're shooting through the woods of Endor, and those scrolling effects are actually pretty impressive for the TRS-80. We can move left, we can move right, and you see the trees actually have an outline around them. And there's an enemy, and he smashed into a tree. So there's two ways you can destroy enemies in this game, by smashing them into a tree, which is the most fun way. Boom! Also, you can capture Ewoks to give you extra points. But the second way to destroy enemy land speeders is with your lasers. Boom! And after you're done with that, you get to go through three gates. Gate the first. Gate the second. And gate the third. You have to be really precise going through them. And at the end, you get to the Empire's Bunker, and you have to make a very precise shot. Got it. And you just keep doing that. Let me show you how fast this game can get, though. This is maximum speed. Oh, I can see through time! Ah! Do not watch this on acid! Oh, God! So, that was Return of the Jedi. And this is the end of Three Dirty Dwarves. We're in the final episode, people, and thank goodness it's mostly animation. Fortunately, Greg Taconic and Korthog are all set to help deliver a fantastic finale to this really unique game. We start on Riker's Island, the Prison Island. So all the enemies on this island are either prisoners or guards. And we have a new gimmick, the floodlights. You need to stay out of the floodlights or the guards will shoot at you. Fortunately, they aren't hard to dodge around. Unfortunately, the prisoners and their forks can wipe you out pretty quick. See, they pull out a tire iron when you get close enough to them. That's what happens when you get spotted by a searchlight. You can't have to move out of their range in order for them to forget about you. However, you can just pass under them with no repercussions at all. The first mini-boss you fight is a guard on this little truck here. They love grenades at you, so you have to move out of the way of those. Fortunately, the grenades don't go off until they shoot them with the cannon. And only the active dwarf is affected, so no big deal. And we move on. The next enemy is the nerd. Well, you don't have to worry about them. Just walk by them. No problem. Just take out the guard. Once the guard surrenders, you can just move on forward without a problem. The next enemy is the mop-wielding janitor. Oh, he does not look happy. He's got that super Chun-Li style kick attack. That can totally wipe out your card if you aren't careful. As with most mini-bosses, he takes way too many hits to kill. Finally, 
Now this is what happens if you accidentally hit a nerd. Nerd rage! Pulls out a nail bat. You don't mess around with the nerd. Anyhow, further on in, there's two prisoners digging their way out of the cells. I don't think we can allow this. Our sense of justice demands that they return. Use a morph attack to take one of them out, and just wail on the other. All set. And that's it for Rikers Island. Fairly long stage, but not that big a deal. Next up is Taconic Parkway, which is something of a gimmick level. There's no actual enemies on this level. In fact, there's just a lot of cars and that WSD van that we just knocked a hole on top of. So it turns out what you need to do is sneak your dwarves into the military base by getting each of them in one of those WSD trucks. There, we got Greg inside. Now we'll get Korthog in one. One of the good things about this level is that once you've hit one of those WSD trucks, all subsequent WSD trucks will have that hole in the top so your dwarves can just jump in. Hitting some of the other vehicles gives you power-ups, but I'm not sure what good they are, since you can't really use them here. And finally it's Taconic's turn. Wait a little bit for the WSD truck to arrive. Here it is. And with all our dwarves packed away, it's time for us to infiltrate the military facility where they're holding the children. The children are here. Let's go. Hey, boys! Huh? You still have a half a chance to make it through this. Give up. Give up and we'll talk. <laughs> Let's give up. I'm hungry. You should have eaten before we started. They must be this way. Hmm. authorized to issue a cease and desist order in the interest of our national security. You boys beat up my lawyers! Hot damn, you got guts! And the final level of this game is the Laser Research Facility. First up, we're going to be attacked by some of the guard robots that protect this place. The first robot jumps on a spring, and the second one walks all his hands while having a boot in the back ready to beat you with. They aren't especially hard to take down, they just take a little while. Get up, you slackers! We gotta take down a robot. I must say, the spring robot is very difficult to get. It moves back and forth really quickly, but we got it. Next up are the demon babies. Oh no, there's a whole nursery full of them. Guess we know what we have to do. I guess this is what the general wanted the brainy kids to be. Oh no. I'm sorry, people. So when you get the babies back into their nursery, they start to cry. And they just pile on that sound effect. Oh good, I'm so... So once the babies have been taken care of, and you can't take care of them fast enough, 
Enemies start drilling holes in the ceiling to shoot at you with a machine gun chainsaw. Mm. I'm not sure what the chainsaw portion is supposed to be. I guess it's to prevent you from meleeing them, but it doesn't mm. take much to take them down. Oh god, I'm sorry about the babies. Mm. Now we reach the third type of robot in the laboratory. Mm. This egg-shaped fellow, it doesn't jump around a lot, just shoots at you, which is fine, because that's what we like to do back at it. And we got it. And now, oh no. Now we fight Big Baby, which is squirting us with whatever foul concoction is in its bottle. Don't really want to think about that too much. It's not really aggressive. And we turned it right back to regular size. And now we get to move on. And now we fight the last boss fight, who's the General's Lackey, Barney, in all of Barney's machines. First, Barney is going to fight us in one of these Ed 9000 knockoff robots. It's a pain in the ass if we're in front of it, but it's pretty vulnerable from the rear. If you can get behind it. But yeah, just hit it enough times. It has a health bar like all bosses, just didn't. So if you're listening to the lyrics, remember how the game was saying shit before? Now the game is openly stating motherfucker. This is a game for kids, by the way. And now we hit phase two of the fight. There are several phases to go through. Not much we can do during this transition period. And they're putting tank treads on Barney's robot. And a cannon on front of it. So if the lasers find you, it lobs grenades at you to blow up. And if you get too close to it, the turret swings around and knocks you unconscious. So it's much more difficult to get behind it. Even worse is getting lined up so that you can actually hit it. Notice how all of Greg's baseballs went right by it. You need to line up your shadow with its shadow in order to really hit it. Bowling balls work very well on this enemy. I kind of like that it shoots out a boxing glove instead of an artillery shell. So it takes a little time, but eventually we get it. And once we knock its armament off of it... Barney, how did you fit in there in the first place? That was awfully cramped for you. That's right, now he's a missile spewing mecha. Just gonna launch missiles at us all day, but it's okay. And once you defeated this form, he's got another form. Just kind of hovers in the air and creates these mines. The mines float around, they can do damage to you if you hit him. And he's got that little teleporter, so it's hard to hit him. But you see, you can blow up the mines pretty easily. That's his main attack he can use in order to teleport you away. You really don't want to get caught in that. As you can see, he's hard to hit when he's floating up in the air. But you smack him enough times, and down he goes. Aw, his head is all singed. This is the end, folks. Enjoy the final cutscene. Ah, well, see. All right, come on in. <laughs> you must let the children go. Oh, yes. yeah, they made it. Sure, sure. Uh, hear me out first. Boys, I like the cut of your jib. You fellas are gonna love working for me. Briggs is kinda convincing. They have benefits where you come from? Insurance, a pension, dental plan, something like that? What do you think? I know a warrior's life, and you fight a smelly enemy, and what do you get for it? Not one red penny! Hmm. <sighs> yes, orcs are very smelly. We've got to roll to get them out of this. Gotta roll a high number. I still have the die. You fellas are gonna love working for me. Enough! No. Uh, wait, 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 hold the phone. Boys, let me put my cards on the table. Showtime. Gentlemen, the entire armory of the free world is at your disposal. And the unfree world, if you want. <laughs> uh, how about a little R&R &R on your own beachfront property? Uh, guns and, and uh, your tanks. You got tanks there, don't you? Well, thank you. Keep up with me, boy. Yes, sir. Anyway, uh, just look at what we got here. Plus, uh, access to our secret weapons research team. Hey, take a look at that top secret stuff there, boy. 
Oh, boy, we'll be unstoppable. Can you believe it? Oh, look at this. Mm. I'll give you our very own condo. Look at that, baby. It's beautiful. Little... Look at the pretty house. Yeah, I'm talking here, boy. Roll again. Okay, here we go. Come on, Di. Come on. We're looking for a few good dwarves. What do you say? More slides. More slides. Wow. Well, talk amongst yourselves. Uh-oh, they're buying it. Well, we'll take care of that. At least this bricks oh. doesn't stink like ore. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Papa needs a new pair of shoes. Ah. I'll even throw in a Winnebago! <laughs> <laughs> A submarine! <laughs> <laughs> Look, we did it! <laughs> you release the children. Yeah, yeah, sure, we'll let them go. We got a deal, all right? Here. Oh, <gasps> well, that way this way. <laughs> So, we got a deal, right? No, but we'll kick your ass. Did <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> you have a nice trip? Well, I guess so. Uh, that's all stroke. <laughs> Here comes your big surprise. Oh! 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 Man, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna leave a mark. Oh! Hey, come on! <laughs> Hey, how do you like this one? Okay, we're having fun now, everybody! <laughs> 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 So that was Three Dirty Dwarves. Thank you very much for staying on to the ending. I know it was a little slow going for a while, but now you've experienced the whole thing, and we never have to do this again. So, we got a deal, right? No, but we'll kick your ass.